I'm here today to make your dreams come true. If you have one of these keyboards, the Logitech G19, and you notice that somehow the screen, the LCD screen on your keyboard doesn't, doesn't look right. If you notice that the LCD screen on your G19 keyboard doesn't work anymore, so you have the keyboard is fine, it's connected to the PC, it's working, everything is working on it, but these menus don't work. The memory keys work. So, by the way, this is the, I think I never showed the back of this keyboard. So you will get a Premiere. Those are the lights inside and if anyone is interested, that's the label, that's the, I bought this keyboard new. And it's been really good, it's really like, kind of like new, almost. Okay. Some of the keys are starting to look suspicious, especially the the enter key, but this was because of damage to the key, but the rest, they are pretty good. Some keys, some in sometimes you have to press a bit harder a few times and then they work okay. If you don't use some of the keys, the G keys, they're working pretty well. I started using, after a long time, I started using the G keys. That's the audio recorder here. I'm speaking into that one now. And the G keys, oop, that one did something. So when I press on one of the G keys, I'm, I can't remember what that one does. There are a few problems with this keyboard. Some of the keys are a bit, like, they take a bit of effort, like rubbing against the edges. Tell me if you found a solution to make the keys more smooth. Maybe use some kind of a, some kind of a powder or dust to make the, um, to make the keys smooth. I don't know, but it's all, not all the keys, only the keys that are rarely pressed. They have this problem, but otherwise it's a perfect keyboard. The space works really nice. Everything makes a bit of noise. It's really old, but uh, the LCD the LCD works, the turns on, but it's uh, just blank like that. And I have, I moved now the mouse, I have the Logitech G502X, which is great. And I have the software for the G19 keyboard and the G502X. There are two programs. So I had those two things here. The That's the Grimas Egg and the uh, Minecraft ship. I had them there to keep the cable, but now I moved it. So I need to have the software for the keyboard and for the mouse separate, because the keyboard is old, the mouse is new, so they have two, two different versions of the Logitech G Hub and gaming software, I guess. To fix this LCD problem, to fix the LCD problem, I thought I would have to open the keyboard, that there's gonna be a hardware issue, maybe some some soldering parts that are not working well but actually this is a software problem and in windows 11 i show you how to change the setting it's not ideal this is mostly because of old software the program used for this keyboard it's they didn't update it logitech didn't update it so the g19 keyboard needs the security setting in windows 11 in windows security to remove memory isolation and i'll show you right now how that works I have the keyboard here and I even cleaned my desk for you so you don't really say too many things about the dusty desk in the comments but this video is for you to fix your keyboard so please try to ignore the dust here I'll pretend to clean a little bit so you feel like I did something like I tried to clean it a little bit what's important is what's on the screen so let's go to the screen and make the magic happen
I'm, I'm recording also with OBS here and recording with the camera because the computer will restart now the LCD screen is not working and I will show you now I will show you now this is the setting here so you have core isolation okay so how you get to this one you open the Windows security type Windows security here in the start menu type Windows security there you type Windows security here on the Windows security page here you go to device security under device security under the device security settings you open core isolation core isolation details and here you have the memory integrity option this is the option you need to disable which is not recommended for security but if you want your keyboard to work this is how you have to do that's how it is i don't know any other way if you know another way to make your keyboard lcd work and the functions let me know so i'll show you what happens now i press this gear icon nothing happens when i press the gear icon here no menu so no menu nothing these these buttons don't do anything only i can turn off the lcd from this button here and the memory buttons they work but actually uh, yeah they don't work also so you can't even you can't even use the memory buttons yeah not even memory recording nothing let's see the game isolation this one works so the the start menu doesn't work when you enable gaming mode so now it's enabled okay okay so to get to the point with this now getting to the point with this i disable i disable memory isolation when you try to disable the memory isolation option it will ask you so it says this change needs a restart a restart it needs a restart so this change needs this change needs a restart so that's what i'm gonna do now the lcd the lcd screen is still not working but after the restart is going to be like magic everything will work so i will stop the obs okay obs is stopped doing the restart i think i was supposed to save it again i'm not sure i have to save it again so i show you the keyboard the keyboard and the screen just so you see the magic this is your lucky day now you're gonna be happy in a few minutes after you try this so the computer is starting and it shows like this when you start up the computer but once the software starts the gaming software sh it should work there and before sometimes it was working with windows 11 but lately it didn't work anymore at all but look what happens now so the computer is still starting <coughs> now the screen it turned off completely the keyboard while windows is starting it's back on okay once the gaming software starts i think i have to log in first or oh, look at the time Zero, seven, zero, seven. that's interesting okay so let's make the magic happen password is entered and look at the screen there
it's like magic the software is working because of the memory isolation setting now I'll start OBS now starting I don't know how long this video is going to be but it's going to be as long as it needs to be and I have the gaming the performance monitor here but I think the menu doesn't work because there is nothing else to show there so you have here this is the display that's the performance clock memory and CPU and like this you would with the buttons with the buttons like this you would cycle up and down between the applets here the widgets for the display but it's working and I will show and this uh, software shows the keyboard it's recognized now I can assign assign look at the information for the G keys I can look at the information for the G keys all the settings are configurable also now these settings here I can change the memory modes so like this it's changing color I can start a recording of a can start recording for a memory shortcut so everything is working if you have this problem with your Logitech G19 keyboard don't throw it away change the memory isolation setting so that you can use it again it's not ideal but it is how it is now at least it's working at least there is a way to make it work maybe there will be some kind of a fix in the future the software works perfectly when memory isolation is off you have your all the customization you have to use the old gaming software logitech gaming software program not the new one the hub so you can change the setting for for example i can add the clock i can add the clock applet and it's already it's already showing it's already showing there i can use the countdown timer something like this whatever you prefer so I prefer the performance monitor this is the easiest thing but like this you get all the functionality of the keyboard you get the full functionality of the keyboard like this with the G keys and the memory keys and everything works as it should be most of most of the functions of this keyboard are in the software so you really need the software to work properly even if you don't need the screen the LCD screen but I'll keep it for performance monitoring and I can add things so I could remove the clock and the countdown timer keep only the performance monitor something like that all these settings they are configurable you can change the colors I hope this helps you get your Logitech G19 keyboard back in action on your computer desk running perfectly and with all the memory keys the g keys and everything thanks for watching the g keys they're actually really useful for a lot of shortcuts you can automate a lot of things that you do on the computer that you when you type something or combination of keys really useful so i still really like this keyboard i wish the keyboard were not sometimes a bit harder to press let me know if you have a solution for that maybe some kind of a some powder or tape or some kind of silicone i don't know teflon <laughs> I, I don't know how to make those keys because they scratch against the wall they worn out or maybe it's time for a new one i don't know but i really like this keyboard and i wouldn't want to change it thanks for watching